What's going on guys? How are you? How are you doing? Today we want to talk about a strategy that you can use to build a strategy, right? That sounds right. So what I want to do is to help you build your own strategy with your own parameters and how to actually build a super, super strategy that can help you make up to $1,000 a day. So this is what we want to do. So bear with me as I explain everything that you need to do to uh, to to come up or to build your own trading strategy. So from what you are seeing here, this is a chart, right? So to, to have a beautiful strategy, you need three things in check, right? Number one, you need money management. That's how you are going to manage your money. Number two, you need your psychology. Your psychology has to be in check. You have to know what you are doing brain wise and number three you need your technicals or your fundamentals in order number three is not an issue but that's what we are going to be talking about more after we talk about money management psychology then we talk about the technicals and everything that we need to build our own profitable strategy to trade anything from synthetics to forex and if you don't have an account on any broker that trade synthetics this is the time to get an account with Deriv to trade the synthetic indices that move 24 7 and make a lot of money using these techniques that i'm going to show you in this video so without further ado let's just go right into it and talk about what we need to talk about That's right so after seeing these two pictures you can see that if you are going to be using technicals to build your strategy you know that you will either go with one of these two so number one what are you seeing you are seeing this this particular one this one being a what a continuation so number one to build a strategy either you either need to decide or to interpret your strategy right being in what uh, a continuation or a reversal so if you are going to go with a continuation this is easy we are going to be using what market structure right to go with continuation then if you are to go with a reversal type of trading pattern you need to be using what we call uh, points of interest so let's just explain the what the continuation first so if you are talking about a continuation what you are talking about is simple price moves like this more often than not right so this is a what this is a typical market structure of any trading element or commodity that you are going to be trading so when price breaks a high like this it comes back retests to somewhere and goes up and goes up again right if you're someone who uses indicators right you'd know that when price uh, retraces back here if you are having an rsi or an oscillator or something like that you would see uh, oversold overboard or things like that then you know it's time to what to go up or it's time to go down and if you are using market structure you know that maybe after this break price might come and retest this what this particular line here and go up or you might be using a what a demand and supply where you are waiting for price to get to your demand and supply and you can go up though all those strategies are what are continuation based right so you need a framework that you are going to be using if you are going to be using a continuation framework then you need the tools you need the tools or parameters that are going to be made first before you what before you press either buy or sell right so this is what this is uh, a bit about what a continuation trading pattern then when we are looking at a reversal type of a strategy we are looking on on patterns that reverse or that end a trend and start a new one or that is mostly present on what on these resistance and support areas like this so this is a resistance area price comes there prints a what a double top as you can see and goes down so this is a strategy that is based on what a, a reversal type of what of pattern and you need to understand what you are going to be doing for these two parameters right and what strategy type you are going to be choosing for you to what to know well, how you are going to be to to be doing it right so this is number one this is number two so let's discuss uh, a continuation strategy and let me help you build your continuation strategy then after that I will help you build a, a reversal type strategy right so on a continuation pattern number one what you need to understand is you need two time frames for you to be very very uh, sharp in the market right so let's say this is the h4 right and you need maybe an m15 type of time frame right so this is the h4 and you have uh, identified that on the h4 the trend is going what is going up as you can see here so what do you do let's say you want to get your trade at what at this particular point right 
let's say you want to get your trade at this particular point and this point is what is this point on the m15 what you need to know is on the h4 you are going to be seeing this as a what as a retracement and on the m15 you are going to be seeing something like this it's very prudent for you to look for trends on the what on the h4 then stick with that particular trend that you have chosen and come back to the what to the m15 and try to see what you can do because if you look for a trend on the m15 this trend here that you see here is a downtrend but remember this is a retracement on the what on the larger time frame so what you need to do is identify your trend on the h4 then you come here and you see something like this and then what you need second is if you are trading a continuation type pattern, you will need a point of interest. So when you say point of interest, there are many. You can use support and resistance. You can use demand and supply. You can use order blocks. You can use fair value gaps, anything that you might think of, right? So after doing that, you need to mark out your what? Either it's an order block, either it's a demand zone, either it's a fair value gap or, or it's a support zone. Anything that you can think of or, or either it's just zones, right? So you know what you are trading. So after doing that, you need to understand how you actually enter. So that's understanding the entry pattern that you're going to be using or the entry strategy that you're going to be putting on your what? On your continuation type of what? Of strategy. And after that, what you need to do if you are trading, if you are trading a continuation pattern and you are waiting for a point of interest, the best way or the best proven way is to use a what? A double bottom or a double top at that point of interest. After you do that, you would have a uh, kind of integrated two types of strategies. That is mm -hmm. a continuation pattern and a reversal pattern. Why? Because we are saying it's a continuation, a continuation of trend on the H4. But if you come to the M15 that we have drawn here, this one, you see that, remember I said, this is a downtrend, which is a what? A retracement on the what? On the H4. Since it is a downtrend on the M15, it means that for it to turn up and go bullish, you would need it to reverse. So it's better to use a what a reversal pattern to what to enter that particular trade. So that would be what that would be your reversal type of pattern that you are going to do. Right? Let's go to um the other one, which is a what a reversal pattern on the what on the H4. How are you going to build this and how are you going to enter this on the what? On the lower time frame. So this is how I think you should do it, right? H4, what have you done here? Maybe you the price prints this first leg, you mark it like that and you wait for price to come back, what? To come back here. And what do you do as price touches there? Let's just look at what the M15 might look like. The M15 might look like this where it has like three legs of what? Of that particular m or that particular double top that you are seeing on the what on the h4 right so this is the h4 and this is the m15 what do you then do on the m15 on the m15 what are you going to do if we already have this double double top on the what on the m15 it's easy now because we're just waiting for price to retest this what this double top and what and go down and what you have to understand again is if you are using any of this and if you are going to be entering your trade you have to avoid entering in the middle of the range please make sure that when you are building your strategy build it in a way that you always enter close to the yesterday's high or yesterday slow so i just thought i could just throw that up so with that being said let's just go to charts and try to understand what is happening on what on our charts here so this is what this is the volatility 100 index that we are doing and remember we are trading this with derif if you don't have an account the accounts are in the description down below the links are in the description down below just to click the link register a demo account confirm your email and upgrade to a real account fund and start trading with me today and if you don't know anything about this you can join our telegram channel the links are in the description down below after joining our telegram you can enjoy free signals from me on a daily basis so with that out of the way let's just look at charts here and try to apply the two strategies that we we're talking about so number one what are we going to see here what you are seeing is simple we have what we have this low and we have this higher low another higher low and another higher low in forming so this with just a uh, one glance at this chart you can just see that this is a what this is an uptrend right this being an uptrend it makes this part a what a retracement and if you go to the m15 what are you going to see on the m15 you are seeing a downtrend so how do you approach this you are going to approach this by 
maybe waiting for something that look like the lines I'm drawing here and you enter right there and you target whatever you are targeting. So this is how I would trade this as a continuation pattern and this is how I would do it. So let's look for an example that gives us a what? A reversal type of pattern and this is it. Remember price is going down, right? A year price is going down because what are we having? We have a high, we have a lower high, another lower high, we have a low, right? And a, a lower low, a lower low, and a lower low. So price is doing this. And what are you waiting for? If you want to trade this as a reversal, you are going to mark this as a demand zone, as a order block, as support, as anything that you trade that requires you, that requires price to bounce off something, right? So it's, it's, it can be a floor or a ceiling, but what you just want is for price to bounce off that area that you are drawing. You know the lines that you are drawing on your charts. Those ones. Those ones, that's what we want to see price bouncing or reacting from. So let's say this is your line on that computer of yours. Then price it should come back here and retest this particular what? This particular zone. You know what it is, right? And what you're going to do is to wait for price to what? To go up. And what you are going to do is to wait for what? For the M15 to be in sync with whatever you are seeing on the what? On the higher time frame. And remember what I said, you need to see this double bottom as you can see these are two double bottoms what you just need to see is another leg that goes down retest this area with let, let's say maybe you'd want to press to retest this area and you trade from here and you go up so guys this is how you build a strategy in 12 minutes it, it's been a pleasure i'll see you in the next video shocks out